This is an emergency, I beg in urgency, this is a serious case. Get all that negative energy out of here. Hey, that worked. All right. Well, as you know, direct energy reader, don't believe in reading zodiac signs and birthdays, ask you to be open with the spirit and have fun. You're doing your five card spread. You selected your relationship house. Yep, you selected your relationship house, so you must ask that card a question. You can't skip it, but you can skip the rest if that's what you need, okay? Again, be open with the spirit and have fun. All right, I'm taking a little reshuffling these cards. So your first name or whatever you want me to call you so I can pray on. Do I have permission to cut your card? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. All right, so current economic communication, future economic relationship and the future, got it. All right, <clears throat> let's start with your, you, you, baby, you, did you have something to say before I get started? Uh, no, I'm, I'm open, I'm just trying to see, see what's currently going on. Okay, then. Yeah. Get around. All right, yeah, because I had cut you off at first. Okay, no problem. All right, let's go over here and start with your first card, which is in your second house. Your second house is ruled by Taurus and is governed by Venus. Your second house represents uh, current economics, money, prosperity, what you're valuing right now, all that. In this house right here, you have a message from the fire in the upright position. They say in the, the thing is you're you're talking, you're asking, you're trying to obtain. You're doing a lot of talking, but it's falling on deaf ears or it's not coming to fruition like you like it. Uh, but this is a value system, so let's break this value system down. Let's talk about your money. Uh, let's say if it's the job, you haven't say, hey, are you guys gonna hire me yet? Hire me yet? Uh, what I mean, you you are saying that, but they're saying, give us some time, give us some time, give us some time. They're giving you the blow off. Okay, let's say if it's going to your value in a relationship energy, not the relationship itself, just the person in the relationship, kids, family, friends, whatever. Spirit say again, you're asking, you're talking, but they're falling on deaf ears. Nobody's hearing what you're saying. Uh, that's what's going on with the currency of your value. The way you do it, Spirit say you need to put a little metaphysical force in it. You need to put a little more spiritual energy, spiritual chanting. You need to put a little bit more spirit in it, if that makes any sense to you. No, it does make a lot of sense. All right. Would you like to ask this card a question? Um. Okay. So, because I already said you said that because I've been playing the waiting game for the last month because I have to get licensed before mm -hmm. I can start on the kettlebell. Um. So, you know, now that it seems like that's going to start moving. Um. What is it? But I want to ask on the other round. What? What is? Is there anything particular that I should be doing in regards to picking that music? and actually not making it forward down here. Uh, Spirit, is there anything she can do to pitch that music? You put her in Cadillac. You, she, you told her to check out Cadillac. You put her where she belonged. Now she's in sales. She want to pitch the music. Give me some insight of how she can do this, how, what she can do, who she can talk to direct. Spirit said, balance career and home life, okay? Spirit said, say yes and power of joy. They're going to ask you, believe it or not. Once you get on the floor, you're gonna let them know you do music and they're gonna be like, hey, I gotta, you know, who's who's your advertising department here? Human resource, what's your advertising? They, you're gonna throw it out there, they gotta see what you can do and they're gonna ask you. They say, you just gotta get into place, in position. They're gonna ask you. Okay. So, but, okay. so when you get in there, you're talking to human resource, instead of just selling cars, you're gonna be like, hey, Hey, who who's the, who who does the music? Who does the advertisement, the commercials? I I make beats. I, you know, local stores can make their own little jingles. You know. Right. So yeah, they're gonna act, okay. they're gonna end up asking you. So they just want you to get in position. Okay. All right. All right. No. Let's go over here to your third house. Your third house is ruled by Gemini and is governed by Mercury. Your third house represent communication. With Gemini in this house, I will take communication for what it is, information. And this house right here 
you have the seven of fire in the upside down position. Now, spirits say with whoever, with regards to whoever you're conversating with, there is no more argument. You have no more fight. You have no more argument. You have no more structure to, to put up with no bullshit. They say this is very good because you've been pounding a brick wall trying to get somebody to hear you, see you, and all that, and the person was coming at you so negative and so hard. But spirits say right now, you don't even gotta hit back, you ain't gotta get no get back. Only thing you have to do is be strong enough to walk away, take your burns and your abuses. They done said some shit to you, it hurt your feelings, walk away, don't rebuttal. Uh, would you like to ask this card a question? Um, okay, just wanna confirm, because it sounds like you're talking about my, uh, my romantic relationship. Even though it's not the seventh house, but... No, that's a little different. Uh, that romantic thing is, is quite pleasant, believe it or not. Uh, no, we're talking about anybody who has said anything negative to you. Anybody who you felt you had to convince to do anything. Anybody who have verbally battered you and vice versa relationship you can add it in there this could be cousin sister brother this could be baby daddy this could be even the daughter spirits say just walk away if they hurt your feelings just walk away from it you don't have to hit them back everything's good they won't do it no more okay okay yeah i don't have any questions for that one it's, it's straightforward <laughs> just, just just ignore them yeah all right well, let's go over here to your future money this is a good card reading i promise let's go over to your six houses six houses ruled by virgo and is governed by mercury your six houses represent your future economics, future money, prosperity, and wealth. It also represents what you're valuing in the future. In this house, you have the seven of air upside down. You can't get no better card upside down. Now, uh, spirit is say you're not going to be suffering for money no time soon. Future money is, I know you feel abandoned You because they, they got these trees with the birds chirping and no leaves, no sun, no nothing. They say that time is over for your future money. You're going to have everything you need. Okay. Well, I'm glad to know that card is still the same from the last <laughs> Yeah, it's still the same from the last reading. It's, it's right here. So just, I get it. You get this job, everything rolls your way. You just gotta be put in position. Do you have any questions okay. for this one? Um, is there anything particular that I need to do to make sure that remains the same for the next couple of months? Like, what is the straight road ahead? Perfect question. Spirit, anything she can do to continue this status? Spirit said, Oshun Energy. Spirit said artistic expression. Look at that. They got that artistic and talking. Ocean energy, artistic expression. And listen, spirit say just you're gonna, I don't know if you this tough independent woman energy. Spirit say just use your feminine charm to get in position. Listen out for when you need to strike. So if somebody, hey, wanna flirt with you and take you out and shit, go on the date. You know you ain't gotta give it up. Flirt with their ass. Listen and strike on their ass. They saying listen. Artistic expression and Oshu energy, meaning inspiration or either uh, swoos, flirt. Inspiration, swoos, or flirt. Okay, okay. Yeah. I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> Baron, bitch, I'm a woman. I can do that. <laughs> I hear that. All right. Let's get into the seventh house. This is your pain point, but it's beautiful over here. All right, going over into your seventh house. Your seventh house is ruled by Libra and it's governed by Venus. Your seventh house represent your relationship, the couple dating, matrimony, romance. In this house right here, you have Obatala. Now Obatala is saying, I think you done married a spirit. I don't know how far you broke down. I don't know what the hell you went through. But he says he's in your seventh house of spirituality, growth, and purity. Evidently, your spiritual pressure jumped so high due to this painful situation. So you are literally junction with the spirit, the God of purity. He has cleaned you completely the hell up and you can move how you need to move because you have him at your side fighting for you. So what does that mean, Baron? Let me help you. Spirit is saying when it comes to your relationship energy, they're not sending any clowns your way. If you decide to get a new partner, if you decide to deal with anybody, Trust me, they're not gonna let you hurt like this again. You are too clean and your mission is too great. You are good. Obatala is all in your relationship house. This is a purity energy. Mm, okay, thank you, Obatala. Yes, I'm sure I want to <laughs> now, Would you like to, now you gotta ask him a question now because he got a roses and flowers and a sword in his hand. So that's tough. <laughs> Uh huh. Um, I know, like I said, my my it was said to me to to not be 
in a relationship. Um, at the same time, I had been praying for love to just be gentle with me. Like, obviously, this isn't something I can just shut off. Correct. And we got to a point where he was, where he was, um, he said, I'm not giving up, right? Okay. So, technically, we're together right now. <laughs> but, spiritually, I have been still disconnecting myself. Like, I still love him very much, things like that, and I have my moments. But at the same time, I keep that voice in the back of my head, like, your old dude said no, the echo said no. You know, if I said no, like, you know, you don't want, you want to avoid unforgettable regret in regards to a relationship, literally. Correct. Like and I'm like, I don't want that to manifest itself, but at the same time, I have been praying, like, you know, love me just for me, just let me... If I have to disconnect, let me do it gently instead of... So, all of that said, um, because I am technically it's still in a relationship with him right now, mm-hmm. um, is there any, I don't want to say dangers, but is there any damaging or, or anything that can arise like right now from this? I mean, I know with the cards that it's sweet, but is there any anything I need to really be careful of or be warned about like right now? Or just in general within the next year or so, maybe. Okay. You I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. Yeah, Over to Allah. Are you got it by her remaining uh, in this relationship? Will that stop you from cleaning her relationship house up, or or did you put them together to clean him up? What what she wants to know. Make sure she ain't messing up by following her heart. Help her help her out. Spirit said, father, husband, brother, son. Spirit said, stay focused. Go ahead now. Spirit said, purification. So you really wanted this brother, so he cleaning his ass up. He gonna fix it. Father, husband, brother, son, stay focused and purification. And what he, the God of cleanliness, he cleaning his ass up. So I hope you know what he done got his ass in too. So whether he fucked off or not, he ain't, he gonna, his ass gonna be better, be wedding bells in a year. Play with it now. Yeah, I mean, we had a conversation um, and he, overall, when we had a conversation, he said to me, I didn't believe that you loved me. He's like, now that I, he's like, now, nah. because it's, that's his trauma, that's trauma talk. Yeah. You know, he has all these traumas with his mother and women, but now he's like, he told me, he's like, you opened my eyes. He's like, I used to love me. Like, I see it now. And even though old girl had put a spell on his ass, mm-hmm. like, this comes stupid. Ah, that make, mama. you know what, that makes sense. Cause she did do some work on him to catch him. And he said he's gonna clean up. He's removing all the dirt and filth and grime from your relationship. And he told you it's okay to deal with this dude again. So he's removing the curse from him just so you can be happy. I can see that now. Okay, I'm understanding. Okay, okay, so that makes sense. Cause yeah, she's, she's, I, she's doing weird stuff now. So I'm like, when he did it, when he started doing it, it was so random. And I showed it to him, I was like, oh, I know what this is. I was like, yeah, that, 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 that spell backfired on your ass right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh yeah, she gonna catch her. You don't, you don't go around doing love work on nobody. If you ain't got the magnet, you know, baby, you I just ain't got the magnet. That, I, said, I don't like that. She's trying to take away your free will. I don't like that. Shit. Yeah. So, but don't worry. You, you. Sometimes, you know, you women know what they want more so than anybody, and you knew what you want. And spirit cleaning his ass up for you. And maybe you're right. Maybe he just had to realize you love him. I mean, granted, <clears throat> granted, y'all weren't married. Y'all weren't living in the same house type inner. So yeah, shit happened, but I can tell you now from what this tarot card is saying, what Obatala is saying right here, purification, stay focused, husband, uh, father, husband, brother, son. He's cleaning them up for you. He's making everything right. This is your man, okay? All right, If he fuck up, if he fuck up again, hit that bitch and tell Obatala, get on his ass. Okay, he already know. He already, he knows what's up. Because he was nice and this year. I'm like, well, Okay. <laughs> All right. So let's go over here to the ninth house. Your ninth house is ruled by Sagittarius and is governed by Jupiter. Your ninth house represents your future, your reality, what's coming to you. In this house right here, you have the ten of Earth and the upside down position. Now, Spirit is saying there's gonna be some form of fall from grace here. And I'm trying to figure out why they saying you're gonna not reap all the benefits that you can. Where's this fall from grace coming from? Where is it coming from, Spirit? Now, you you healed the man energy. You healed the relationship energy. The job energy is going good. Oh, whew. I'm not tired of that Spirit. I'm trying to look. Where is the fall from grace coming from, Spirit? Where's the fall from grace? Everything's too good. 
Okay, energy healing. Gotcha, spirit. Gotcha. Offer energy healing, offer and meditation. Spirit say the fall from grace meaning that you're gonna you're gonna begin to get down and dirty and you're gonna start this whole spiritual war with this woman. Spirit is saying don't fall from grace if you can manage it because they see you doing spiritual warfare against this woman and that's your fall from grace. They saying energy healing. Um, uh, okay, uh, I have a feeling she's gonna try me again. Yeah, they saying if you combat her, if you don't let Obatala do this and you combat her, you're gonna fall from grace. They said energy healing, giving offering to the saints and meditation. This will be a spiritual combat and you can get real dirty with your spiritual combat. You hear me? Yeah. So you're doing pretty good. Uh -huh. Don't fall from grace. Okay, it makes sense. Only because, um, okay, you know what? I do wanna have, ask this kind of question because mm -hmm. I had a dream, which I already knew was a visual. Mm -hmm. Right? I had a dream that I was in the the fall from grace you let you fall from your 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 stand you start doing magic you get in this spiritual warfare now they want y'all to be sister wives and shit to share him and all that stuff right. there don't go for that if that's not if that's not where you're no, yeah no and, and, and if i wanted to go that route with you hug she's <laughs> yeah she's a, she's a loosey goosey Is this woman doing any work on her at the moment on behalf of this girl that's trying to break up their relationship? Is there any work being done on her and her relationship at the moment? Throwing hands now. Spirit said, follow your heart. Spirit said, Spirit said, fresh start. And Spirit said, communication. Follow your heart, fresh start, and communication. No, none right now. Spirit, when will this take place though? When will this take place? Give her a time so she can fortify. Spirit said, uh, A reads, find the blessing in your current situation and go now. They said if you can do, if you can uh, uh, set a, I don't know if you know how to do this, but if you can set a calendar to do uh, protection spells uh, for for the next year, uh, uh, it's gonna get bad around by next spring, April. Uh, A reads season. Yeah, uh -huh. they're saying it's going to get really bad. So that's six months. That's when the people leases up from here, you know, shit hit the fan. You know, y'all may say, hey, I want to move closer to each other. You follow me here? Yeah, okay. Yeah, oh, it gets better, by the way. I found out she's assistant. At the apartment complex? No, she's, she's his assistant. Oh, okay. So so they were just camaraderie. And I, I, I kind of told you something like that, that it was just like... Yeah. It just happened and then she just, and she moved in and she's helping him with his social media. She's doing that. She, yeah, I kind of said she was assisting him without those words. I knew, yeah. I felt that. Yeah, yeah. So that, that explains the closeness that was there. She had too much time. Too, yeah. Like there's a lot of time. Yeah. But I mean, but you, so, again, okay. you guys are uh, a good little ways away. That's fucking long distance, brother. You know it or not. <laughs> 
in so many words that's long yeah, distance that's so basically what you got to do is just believe over talar cleaning him up uh state your claim make sure hey i love you but i ain't finna be no fool give him five six months to clean that shit up hey it's hard you the cold turkey i get it however you however you love and however you a relationship you're not wrong for doing that and don't let nobody Throw that fool word around, or you crazy. If you love, you love. It, it's so hard to find love in this day and age. You know, we can't just yeah. be disposing, okay, we could throw away somebody that fucked up and made a mistake. I know it's good for a lot of people to say, but then you throw that person away because they made a mistake. They throw you away because you made a mistake, and shit get hard out here, man. So don't let nobody throw yeah. you off your game. Just know your spirit team is doing what you want them to do, and they will fix this person for you. But don't be no fool and sit in the closet now. If you feel like you need to go out there and have a drink or something with a friend, you do it. That's all. That's just me, Big Brother Baron energy there. But don't. Yeah. Just know that. Oh, and, I, and I have been. I have been. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Hey. Don't be no fool. While Spirit cleaning his ass up, you you make yourself feel good. Right. Exactly. Fool me once. Yeah. <laughs> but I can tell you from this card reading, Spirit is cleaning him up. No job here. All right. Well, I the fall from grace was just in that lane. Yeah, that, that's the only fall from grace. If you start getting that dirty. Makes me nervous a little bit. No, no, no. If you start getting into spiritual warfare with her, you're going to instantly get dirty. You're going to constantly be putting her in boxes, trapping, graveyards. You're going to get nasty, man. You don't need that. It ain't even worth it. No, it ain't even worth it. And, then, and if I have to do all that, then I'm looking at him because why? why there do you go. Like you know what I mean? We now, by this, we should be peed up. And, and had enough power to get away. That's right. Keep in mind, I still saw him leaving with you to that place. Remember, he had a restaurant where you had your Cadillac Jingle Deal mem membership thing. Yeah. Matter of fact, we're supposed to go in July. Okay. So that could be springtime, summertime, that type of shit with Apollo energy when it's gonna get bad, right? He may, she may be like, yeah. damn, I need to go. Okay, you follow me here. Okay, yeah, I'm on it. All I'm right. on it. All <laughs> right, how did you like your reading? I loved it. Thank you very much. It was very helpful. All right, appreciate you calling. And I love these cards and I love the message they gave you. And Likewise, I, thank you. All right. Oh so, yeah, you good. And you know what I like to say, if you need to reach me, you know how. Absolutely. And I was Wednesday, I'll see y'all five. Alright, <laughs> see you in the short. Alright. Alright though. Confirmation. She loved this man. And nobody can tell you how to feel when you love somebody. And for all the women out there who he, he fucked up and I would have left him, y'all, y'all need to stop doing that type of shit because it's hard out here. There's no loyalty, there's no love, and people fall short. Your ass have fell and fall fallen short once upon a time. I've fallen short. I mean, we can't be so disposable to people when your heart is involved because you don't get to give that energy to somebody else. So I think this sister is doing good, praying to her spirit team. And they heard a call, they're gonna clean him up. And for so many people gonna be angry and sad and say some crazy shit about this there, she's gonna get her man and spirit already showed their future together. They probably just have to go through a little bit more to grow. And I'm gonna clap it up for this sister. Congratulations. Pause the comments below. All right, everybody, I'm the Baron. Telling you guys to trust the you and the universe because at the end of the day, that's all you got. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all. Soul Tribe. Ain't started. All right. Well, let me start by putting some Florida water on my hands. All right. Whew. All right. Well, as you know, I'm a direct energy reader. Don't believe in reading zodiac signs or birthdays. I ask that you be open with the spirit and have fun. We're going to be doing your 12 card spread, friends and enemy. Uh, what that consists of, I'm going to go through all your houses from 1 to 12. When you get to that seventh house and that twelfth house, you must ask those cards a question. You can't skip them, okay? Okay. Uh, what else? Again, all I can say is just be open with the spirit and have fun and try to look at the message. The more energy you bring to the reading, the better. All right, one more shuffle and we good. All right, I'm taking the liberty of shuffling these cards. Say your first name or whatever you would like for me to call you so I can pray on them. Do I have permission to cut your card? Yes. All right, let's go. One card, two, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh my God! You just.
just like being used. I can see that now. Nah. We're we gonna have to break that. Spirit said you just love being used. Good God. <laughs> All right, let's get the thing started. All right, we gotta go over here to your first house. Your first house is ruled by Aries and it's governed by, your first house is ruled by Aries and it's governed by Mars. Your first house represents your ego, your self-esteem, how you see yourself, uh, how you treat you. Uh, in this house right here, you have the couples card in the upright position. Spirit is saying that it's like that pair, you need to be paired up with somebody. You just need to have somebody at your side in order for you to feel like you should do right or can do right. That's the whole thing. You just feel like you just can't do anything without having somebody beside you. Spirit is saying, unless you're married or in a committed relationship, abandon this energy, please, because the people around you are gonna take advantage of you, okay? Okay. Would you like to ask this card a question about how you see you? Uh, no, I think, I think, it, I think it sounds like I'm looking to be, you know, dependent on somebody else and I need to be like standing on my own feet. That's it. That's it. So, unless you are married or in a relationship, do understand you need to learn how to be alone, okay? Okay. All right. Let's go over here to your second house. Your second house is ruled by uh, is ruled by Taurus and is governed by Venus. Your second house represents your current economic system, current money, prosperity, and wealth, something you're valuing right now. In this house right here, you have the seven of earth in the upright position. Now, Spirit is saying what you're valuing right now is growth, but not growth as in like business or corporate. They saying you're valuing maturity. You're trying to mature. Uh, you want to be seen as an adult. You want to be seen as the uh, head of the honcho show. You want to be seen as somebody who could stand on your own. I get it. Well, but Spirit is saying instead of trying so hard to make people see who you are, where you are, what you are, they saying, could you just go back and, and just collect all the jewels and stuff you've put on the ground? Just go back and collect them and understand that you are a boss, like boss, just because of all the good stuff you done did, all the good deeds you done did. Spirits say you, 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 you're just not seeing all the stuff you done did because you're constantly climbing from the chart. So I'm going to give you one more analogy and you can put it where it goes. So let's say you done raised five kids, you know, raise your niece, nephews, cousins, and nutties, whatever. You know, raise five kids and now these kids are grown and gone. You saying, well, shit, I ain't got nothing going for myself, but I just need to constantly check on them and call them. Spirit is saying you ain't got to do that. You just got to know that you did this and then they'll know that you did it too. You just got to step in the role as the boss. I don't know if I'm making sense to you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I, I got a kid and I, I've been calling her more often lately and I think that I don't really need to do this much. You don't. Spirit say just step in the role as a boss. Send a text message. Hope you're okay. If you need me, call me. Done deal. Step in the role of the boss. Okay. Uh, would you like to ask this card a question? Um, no. All right. Moving on. <laughs> Let's go over here to your third house. Your third house is ruled by Gemini and is governed by Mercury and the moon. The Gemini and the moon. Oh boy, that's bad. Your third house is ruled by Gemini and is governed by Mercury, but the moon says there's something here. Your third house represents communication. With Gemini in this house, take communication good or bad. It just comes to you. In this house right here, you have the three of fire in the upright position. So spirits say the three of fire meaning somebody is starting to value you in the dark. So you 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 got somebody telling you that you're good, you're sexy, you're fine, you're cute, you're warranted, you're valuable. You got somebody telling you this, but spirits saying the person that's telling you, you don't really want nobody to know about. Like th this is a secret person that's telling you all of this. What's going on? So, yeah, I don't know. I just, I don't see that being like serious. So why you don't want nobody to know he flirting with you? That's the that topic because the spirit say the moon came here and the moon saying all this conversation is good, but she got secrets, baby. She just wanna keep this guy hidden. Is he a company hoe? Is he a company man everybody want? Is he not too good looking? Because spirits say the only reason you're not valuing what he's saying is because uh how you say people will disapprove. Not well Like my life would be destroyed if I mess around with it. 
Damn, that uh, when you call a real psychic, they see shit, don't they? Yeah. I say when you call a real psychic, we can see shit, don't we? Oh yeah. Yeah, boy. But yeah, spirit saying somebody is flirting with you. They see, they telling you some good stuff. It just, the moon just came up and say you love what this person saying, but you got to keep this person a secret. Only thing spirit is saying, if you choose to deal with this particular individual that you are liking and fancying, spirit say it is very much okay to keep this between you two. This will be your selfish pleasure. Okay. Okay. Would you like to ask this card a question? Why did I book the reading with this Negro here? Cause this bitch be seeing stuff. He the real <laughs> deal. <laughs> oh yeah. That, that, that means it's okay to have him as a sneaky link. Huh? Yeah, it's okay to have your sneaky link. Spirit say, consider this your selfish pleasure. Keep in mind now, you need to be in control of this. And him, I say, thank. He owed me ten dollars for this. <laughs> 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 Joker up in to get him a good old time spirit uh, tell him to send me some money alright let's go over here to your fourth house your fourth house is ruled by cancer and is governed by the moon your fourth house represent your actual house and home where you live it also represent three people friends or family you will allow to stay in your house they don't live there this is just people you say okay come here I like you we friends we family you can stay that ain't that in in this house right here you have the enslaved prisoner in the upside down position spirits that either you live alone lady or you done you done told everybody they can kick rocks i do say by myself okay spirits say you spirits say when it comes to your household you ain't got nothing holding you down and you said man, i can come and go as i please or you telling everybody to get out because i want to come and go as i please either way spirit is saying you're at the right time to make a different changes. Are you turning 50 yet? Uh, I got a few years before I get 50. Spirit trying to age me up. <laughs> no, 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 no. Reason why I ask, are you turning 50? Cause Spirit's saying by the age of 50, I don't know how old you is. You ain't gotta say if you do, that's cool. By the I'm age 47. of 50, 47, three years, okay. That So 50 is a pitiful, no, pit, pivotal number. Spirit say by the time you 50, you need to have all your ducks in a row. Everything need to be lined up. They giving you three years. With this, with this uh, standalone energy you got, you ain't got no chains on you. Spirit say within three years, you supposed to be at that mark where you can do whatever you want to do, move how you want to move, handle shit how you want to handle. They giving you three years, spirit is gonna come back in your fourth house of how you living within three years, and then that's when they're gonna start saying, okay, trips, travel, investments, that type of stuff. So spirit wants you to do good with this lonely time. Don't just be sitting around watching Bon Bon and Sneaky Lincoln invest go places get your dream board that that type of energy would you like to ask this card a question yeah i was going to ask about investment you just said invest mm -hmm. uh, i've been thinking about moving and uh i've had some stuff stolen out of my place so i kind of wanted to know if it really was an neighbor or who is responsible for that because i'm thinking about moving so i kind of wanted to know if it really was a neighbor or who is in my crib teaching in my crib spirit who touching on her stuff who touching on her stuff oh they gave me two cards okay spirit said nurture yourself and health and healing who did you have watch your house when you went and got your last medical checkup or you went to the doctor to visit somebody? Who did you have watch your house? Um, I have, one of my friends has it. Nurture yourself, health and healing. Either you went to the hospital or you went to see somebody at the hospital, but I'm seeing a medical facility. Possibly, hypothetically, could have had somebody over and they could have took your stuff or like that but she had it but you went to the doctor's office or you went to see somebody in a medical facility do you know what they're talking about when they have to go see my daughter in california they helped somebody on a medical tip but you did this for you and they said mother white i mean uh nurture yourself mother so you probably went and visited your daughter that mother energy and and did some mental work there but either way when you left that person was the one that took from you I, 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 okay so Spirit, is this, say less, say less, because I'm going to have to cut a lot of shit out of this video. You recorded this. So, okay. Spirit, is this really her friend? Spirit said, fresh start. Retreat to nature with your heart. Stay focused. And Spirit said, open your heart to love, meaning forgiveness. Uh, she, she just had a weak moment. She your friend. She just had a weak moment. Forgive her. I, I'm about to start uh, doing reversal candles. Yo, good thing, good thing you didn't burn that bitch to the hell because you would have fucked your friend up. 
Spirit say this is a one time forgiveness, okay? Okay. One time. That's that's hard. I don't, I don't have to work on it. Hey, well, listen, you ain't got to listen to Spirit. Spirit just telling you she decent human being. Ruled by, your fifth house is ruled by Leo and is governed by the sun. Your fifth house represents your sex, life, entertainment, and luck. Your fifth house represents uh, strength and courage as well. In this house right here, you have the five of earth in the upright position. Now, if you're going to sit up here and say, Baron, I ain't fucking nobody, I'm going to slap you because you're lying. Spirit say the person that you're screwing, giving your attention to, say that you know you should not be dealing with this person and this person is not mishandling you properly. But you constantly do it. Why? I don't know. <laughs> I, I, all the person I would mess with is my toys. <laughs> but, I'm, uh, I'm, looking I, at, I, I'm looking at the camera, by the way. So why, so if you dream if you dreaming about your ex husband uh, and spirit saying you're sacrificing yourself jumping in the volcano trying to find something to hold on to uh, uh, for a cause there we go so had his ex husband tried to come back into play or are you secretly saying damn I want to bang him down what's going on here because spirit say whoever you're screwing trying to entertain you know you're not supposed to you're just doing it. No, like like no. I mean subconsciously I don't I don't know if you know. I don't, Well really, then, well, let's look that, at it. That, that. Let's look at it as a future tense. If you decide to go back to this person, it would be it would be bad. Right. Okay. Right. Would you like to ask this card a question? Um, no. Well, how can I get over that? How can I get over that relationship if that's something that's popping up like subconscious? Spirit, what unfinished business do she have with this person so she can finish it and go? Spirit said, see the other person's point of view. Spirit said, focus on your strength. And Spirit said, peace offering. You see what's going on? Did y'all, when y'all had that thing, is he trying to do right or is he, You, if you want to just tell him, okay, I, I forgive you. If you trying to tell him I forgive your energy or you need him to forgive you or that type of, or you want him to, or you want to forgive him, that type of energy. Spirit say, see the other person point of view, peace offerings and focus on your strength. Reason why, because you felt like it was a bad situation, whether you did it or not but you're waiting on an apology. That's basically how they saying. You waiting on an apology or you wanna give him an apology so you can move on. Cause again, spirit is saying, it's time for you to move to a different spot in your life. This is that energy there. You, somebody, you need somebody to apologize. Either you need to apologize to him or you need him to apologize to you. But either way, y'all locked because you ain't got that out your system. An apology, a simple fucking apology. There we go. Peace offering. You see the card, pulled it up. Peace offering. Y'all just, okay. just want to stop arguing. You just want to make amends. Peace offering, okay? Okay. All right. Let's go over here to your sixth house. Your sixth house is ruled by Virgo and it's governed by Mercury. Your sixth house represent your future economics, future money, prosperity, and wealth. In this house right here, you have the six of air in the upside down position. Now, Spirit say when it comes to this money making thing, you're not going to be so emotional jumping on the first bag that type of stuff you're not going to be doing that spirit say what's going to happen is you're going to be logical you're going to be stretching it out you're going to do your work or you need to do your research before you invest in anything financially even if you invest in a man because you can value that even if you invest in new friends because you value your friends no matter what you do in the investment energy i'm running okay. the gambit do your research, vet these people, put them to the test, vet these companies, look for the pros and cons of scam, and then, only then, will you be able to make a decision or should make a decision. That's for your future investments. Would you like to ask this card a question? Um, if I do uh, Wall Street investments, is the, I mean, is that a good idea for me to do Wall Street investments? Spirit, what about Wall Street? Spirit said, follow your heart. Spirit said, come on out the closet. Spirit said communication, right, there you go. Yep, look, research it and then go for it. Okay. All right, let's go over here to your seventh house. Your seventh house is ruled by Libra and is governed by Venus. Your seventh house represent your relationship, the couple dating matrimony. 
And this house right here, you have Yemo Ya. Now Yemo Ya is saying she's cleaning up your relationship house. Now I don't. So how long have you been celibate? Wink, wink. <laughs> I ain't don't we ain't gonna go spirit. This is physical. This is your relationship energy. Yeah, my y'all says she is coming to clean up your relationship energy. This meaning for people who don't need to be there, she's gonna remove them so you can bring in something else. She's tidal waving, she's flooding, she's getting all the bullshit out the way. So it's time for you to get a relationship. Now I see why that 50 number is coming up again. She is saying she is really trying to make sure you're okay. So when it comes to if anybody liking you and they not serving your purpose, let them be moved. That energy. That's okay. I'm happy that. So let the woman come in and do what she got to do. Would you like to ask her a question about your relationship energy? Uh, what do I need to do? Do I have an assignment? Do she got an assignment? What she need to do? Spirit said meditation and prayer. Spirit said take charge of the situation. That's it. And they got Moses moving the ocean. Spirit, she just say meditation and prayer and make way. State your business. State what you want. And just okay. let her come in and bring that to you. Clean all the debris and let her bring that to you. All right. All right. Let's go over here to your eighth house. Your eighth house is ruled by Scorpio and is governed by Mars and Pluto. Your eighth house represents your subconscious mind. What it is you think about, desire, you want. Fear. In this house right here, you have Oshun energy. Now, oh, now they're saying you kind of, uh, how you going to want a wife, want to be a wife, but fearing being a wife? How you going to want to be somebody lady, but you fear being somebody lady? Mm, I, I don't, sometimes I go back and forth about if, uh, if I could, you know, tolerate being around somebody. I'm kind of just used to being with Well, with Oshun in your eighth house of uh, imagination, you need to be more definite about do you want this relationship or don't you? Okay. You gotta, if you want to be a girlfriend, you want to be a girlfriend. If you want to walk around, drink wine, have naked with one shirt sleeve hanging off your shoulder, by all means, do that. But either way, you can't sit up here and, and hope and wish for a man, flirt with men, and then as soon as they come your way, I don't know, I'm just stuck in my goddamn ways. Ugh, you just doing every bit of disservice to these Orishas and energies you're trying to put in those areas. Uh, okay, yeah. So she just saying, be more definite. This is made up in your mind. Stop teetering. Okay. Would you like to ask this card a question? No, I sound like they're saying get it together, make up your mind. There we go. All right, now we're gonna go over to your ninth house. Your ninth house is ruled by Sagittarius and it's governed by Jupiter. Your ninth house represent your future, your, oh, they said education too, okay, talk to me. So your ninth house represents your future, uh, what's coming to you, what will be, but they are stressing heavy on getting education. They stressing heavy on you going back to school, getting some kind of education under your belt. Uh, in this house right here, you have the ace of water in the upside down position meaning that you're not too damn emotional about how your future gonna turn out. They saying it's time for you to get educated on something. I don't know if this is going back to school. I don't know if you need to educate yourself on a trade or a skill, but they say moving forward in your future, you're gonna have to get some more education, learning, and schooling. What's going on here? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm undecided on what I wanna do as far as career fields. And I wanted to know if I should try to go in a different career field or if I should stay in the same school the trades that I already have. Spirit, should she, I'm gonna do two parts. Spirit, should she just uh, get more education in the trade she already have and move up the ladder that way? Spirit said purification. Should she go back to school and try a different career field? Spirit said, listen, there we go. I like that purification, like what you're doing now, that's a done, uh, that's over. Going back to get more education, Spirit say, listen. So yes, change career fields, but get educated on the career field you're gonna change into. Okay. All right. Let's go up here to your 10th house. Your 10th house is ruled by Capricorn and is governed by Saturn. Your 10th house represent how everybody will see you. This is lessons learned. In this house right here, you have the 10 of fire in the upside down position. This is you moving very fast. Spirit say, everything you do from here on out, you're gonna be moving so fast. Just be sure you don't fall and get burned. People gonna know that. You're gonna come off as needy. You're gonna come off as independent. You're gonna come off as strong and people gonna start playing on that. They're gonna see that you you the type that'll push the button because you're ready for love. You're ready for life. You're ready for whatever come. But Spirit say, you better still vet people because people gonna start using you. 
All right, would you like to ask this card a question? How are everybody gonna see you? Um, but how do I go about making sure I'm Spirit, how did you, uh, I'm not gonna ask that question because Spirit said you just gotta slow down and vet people. Ask another one. They already told you how to not to get that. Well, when you said I'm gonna be moving fast and in what regards, just living life, period? Okay, good question. Spirit, how'd she say she gonna move fast and she gotta vet everything around her? Living life, what? Spirit says spiritual, oh, the spiritual laws of attraction. Spirit said trust, okay, detach from drama. Spirit said what it is, is you're, you're gonna grow spiritually, everything gonna line up properly, and Spirit is gonna start sending everything to you that you can ask for. Be careful and mindful of the shit that they bring in front of you because you ask for it now. You're gonna ask for a man, they're gonna bring it. You're gonna ask for a car, they're gonna bring it. Make sure the car in the limit. Make sure the man ain't, ain't doing no dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? This is how you, they're gonna bring you everything you want. They're just saying, make sure you learn how to detach from drama while they're bringing it to you. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's go over here to your eleventh house. Your eleventh house is ruled by Aquarius and is governed by Uranus, the planet, not your butt. I love that joke. I gotta stop saying it. It ain't funny no more, but I love it. All right. I feel that. Thank you. Whew. All right, uh, your 11th house represent positive vibes, uh, coming together, uh, friendships, that type of stuff. Uh, in this house right here, you have the full of air in the upright position. Spirit, I'm just gonna, you shouldn't trust not one friend you got on this planet to tell you anything. Not one okay. damn friend got your best interest at heart at this moment right now. Okay. Don't trust none of them, it's jealousy. They are picking you apart or they're using you. They're using you for their own goods. Now, I know you got a best friend, Everybody watch my channel, I get it, thank you. But right now, you cannot trust what your best friend is saying. Not saying it's a malice thing. Just they, they probably ain't, ain't aligned with you properly yet. Right, would you, okay. Would you like to ask this card a question? Um, I'm, I'm thinking I need to get stronger spiritually and maybe start doing some, uh, you know, doing doing and some my actions because I'm trying to be better with my actions and Spirit, she, she, uh, spirit, I'm not gonna ask that question because Spirit already told you, vet your friends, vet everybody that come into your life. Yeah, you on the right track. Ask another question about friendships, anything, anything about people coming together, people you know, people you wanna hang out with, people you do hang out with. Where should I go to make new friends? There we go. Spirit, where should she go to make new friends? Spirit said positive change, tell her about it. Spirit said balanced career and home life, and Spirit said family, fertility. So Spirit say once you get into your new profession or on your current profession, this is where your friends need to come from. I know people say, I don't want to make no friends on the job. Spirit say these people on the job would be put quite well for you. So even when you get training and you go to your new job, you're going to have new friends. They said positive change, balance, career, and home life. So this is a job, that career thing. And then they said family and fertility. And you know, if your daughter live in Cali, how about you go over there and uh, start getting to know people in Cali? Okay. All right. All right, let's go over to your final card. This is your 12th house. Your 12th house is ruled by Pisces and is governed by Neptune. Your 12th house represent uh, your enemies, negative vibes, separation, isolation, being too emotional about things. This is typically you again. You start with yourself in the first house and you end with yourself in the 12th house. So the 12th house represent negative vibe, enemy separation. In this house right here, you have the seven of fire in the upright position. Fire represents movement, seven represent completion, but there's a dragon here. And the dragon is bitching, talking, cursing out. Spirits say the problem is you're still gonna let people curse you out and you're still gonna feel insulted, slighted, or like an underling when it comes to these people. Spirit is saying, Get over that shit. You got nothing to be ashamed of. You got nothing to worry about. Run away from none of that. Okay. Nobody can't sit up there and tell you, hey, uh, Priscilla, I hate your, I hate the way your ass shape. And you go look in the mirror, looking at your ass. I'm, I need to get a smaller ass. Or I need to puff it up. No, don't do that. That's what the fuck you're doing. Spirit say, stop letting people downplay you and you taking that shit to heart. Okay. I've been trying to be careful with my words. Hey, well, hell, that's the best damn word you can say. It's a very short, it's a statement, it's a question. It can be everything. Start saying it. If you feel it in your heart to say it, start saying it. Would you like to ask this card a question? Uh, no, I think mean, I... 12th house, you got to. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I really don't think I have to, man. Too many answers. I 
enemies, but okay, stop it right there. Who's the person with a natural afro, natural hair? They got keep they hand the afro man or woman. I'm saying afro. 70s soul brother soul sister natural hair natural who you know around you with natural hair um just about everybody got natural hair now afro puffy pics you know these people this ain't just somebody you look at and pass by on the train or driving at the coca cola factory who do you know in your circle that you talk to communicate with i don't really talk to too many people though anybody so. from chicago area detroit chicago you know i'm I'm leveling, I'm getting it right there with you because I want you to see this. I had an ex-friend that uh, is from Chicago, but I haven't talked to that person in years. Is she a militant, like, Black Panther person? Very pro-black? Uh, I mean, I don't think so. Well, okay. Well, this person that's talking to you, they're very Afrocentric, and they come up to you and they judge your lifestyle. Spirit say you're basing all your decision off of this person who's judging your lifestyle like that. Now, unless you're watching old ass YouTube videos with the people with the afros saying that you a hotel, you date white men and making you feel shitty for living a life, that you sell out that type of energy, then this is just what they saying in the real life. So I'm gonna need you to get off of these people's perception of you, whether it's a YouTube old video from the 70s or whether you got somebody around you with natural hair, you know, on this whole pro-black, pro-black spirituality tip. And this from Chicago? They got that Chicago energy. Oh, but that kind of shakes me. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to think on who, who that is. I mean, I do watch YouTube, but... I get you to pinpoint somebody, but either way, it's this pro-black energy around you that you're basing your lifestyle off of. If it's your YouTube videos, cut that shit out. You on your own journey, okay? Okay, okay. Uh, do you have a question for the 12th house? No, I, th I think I just asked the question. I think you answered it. All right. How did you like your reading? I liked it. It's good. All right. I'm going to leave out that. I'm going to leave out a lot of portion of that 4th house, okay? Okay. I'm just going to bleep it out of the camera and nobody will hear it, all right? All right. That's, no that's our conversation. <laughs> All right. Well, you know what I like to say. Uh, if you need to reach me, you know how. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you too, darling. Have a good one. That was a great reading, a great talk within that. We came out of that fourth house, and I love this sister for it. People, let me just be honest with you. When a sister work on herself, it's a great thing. But sisters, as you guys work on yourself, don't get too inclined to stay in that energy. You work on yourself not to build a bed or a nest to be in that energy forever. You work on that on yourself to heal and to come out a renewed source. This sister is going to come out a renewed source because she done worked on herself for two, three years. And she's taking baby steps. But when she come out, she's going to be super great. Just let this be a message to you guys. Pause the comments below. All right, everybody. I'm the Baron telling you guys to trust the you and the universe because at the end of the day, that's all you got. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all. Soul Tribe.